Okay, on these uh, video clips, I'm going to show going down Powerhouse Stretch from just north of Riverside. So I'm turning the boat around and going to head down the head of the Charles course and go through both bridges, just making sure I'm going through the center arch of uh, the two bridges on Powerhouse Stretch and then setting myself up for the Weeks footbridge. Here we go. Take it away. Yeah, I was talking there in the background about the highway overpass and those two buildings back there. That little gap between those two skyscrapers in the background is more or less where you want the stern to be pointing. There we go, first bridge. Now, if you're further back in the pack, like two years ago, I went on the Cambridge side through those, that outside arch because there's too much traffic. If you have a, a, a bow number of like 30 or 40 or something like that, this stretch is going to be packed with people. And I made up time by going on the Cambridge side arch on that one. But if the spacing between the two boats is pretty good, you just go right down the center here. And the stern of the boat, you can't really see it too well here, still pointed at that center arch. And uh, you can see over top those same two buildings on the left. If you, if you have those two things lined up, it looks you're pretty good, like you're pretty good to go. Now yesterday I was out there again and once I get through this next arch I wait till I get parallel with uh, or not parallel but right to the side of the park bench off starboard side. There's three park benches but I start shying just a hair to the starboard side of the river. You don't want to head to the Boston side of the Weeks footbridge. You want to set yourself up so that you're going through the Weeks bridge, which is the next one. On, I think you want to be on the uh, on the Cambridge side. So you've already started your turn before you go through the bridge. Two arches are still pretty well lined up. And again, you see those two skyscrapers right above the center of the bridges. Now let's see here when I begin my turn. It shouldn't be too long from now. I'll be turning to port, and you'll watch the stern of the boat start moving. It's moving to the left against the background, slowly coming around. Let's see how far that uh, stern of the boat gets to things in the background before I straightened out. There we go. 
Now, as I came to this bridge, I couldn't turn as much as I wanted to because there was traffic up ahead of me. Um, the stern of the boat should be off the Cambridge abutment right now. But I had a class, a sculling class, I guess, ahead of me. And I started slowing down. But I feel like I'm too much on the Cambridge side of the river here. I'm coming to a stop and just waiting to see what these two scholars are doing. Off my bow, <clears throat> it would be fun to run this whole thing uh, during a real race. See, there's a scholar on the left and then one on the right, and then there's a launch coming up on the right, a second here. So you can see how uh, they would have been pretty spooked if I came through quickly. And I stop in a few seconds here in front of Weld because uh, I realize that I'm too far on the Cambridge side to be set up for a turn through the Anderson Bridge. So that's about the end. We'll see Weld show up on the left side of the picture. This is one of my favorite stretches on the whole river. I really love the section when you go through Weeks and then Anderson. Good turns, not too hard to do, but you've got to pay attention and not get trapped or pushed to the wrong side. Bye for now. <clears throat>